Women often use sex as a weapon or as a tool. If you really want to understand how women are, you know, how women and why women have sex, it's because, um, or, or in, in order to understand that, you have to understand how, how women are attracted to men. Okay, and in order to understand that, you have to understand, you know, female nature, all right? But women are emotional. Men are more visual. This is the main difference when it comes to how and why men and women have sex. Men are visual. Women are emotional. Women are visual, too. Don't get me wrong. Women like a nice pair of abs. Women want a guy who's good looking, period. We all do. But women are you know, different than men in that women need an emotional connection in order to have sex nine times out of 10. Um, and, and it it might not necessarily be an emotional connection per se, but at least they need an emotional spike. Women need to feel something for you in order to have sex with you. This is why you can be a very attractive man. You can have money, you, you can you can spark her interest, you can have status, etc. You can be a good talker, whatever, whatever, tall guy, dressed well, etc. But if you don't spark her emotion by the way you talk, by the way you move, by the by your personality, your character, you have to spark her emotion. Okay, this is how women operate. So I agree with this woman's comment here. Um, this is, you know, again, this isn't my name. This isn't my actual, you know, uh, this isn't who I am. This is just one of my, I've said this before, this is just one of my Facebook alts or one of my Facebook alternates, right? It's just something I do, you know. I go on Facebook, I talk to people, I share red pill information, something I do. This woman says, I honestly don't believe any woman can have sex consistently with anyone without catching feelings. I agree. Men love to have sex. Women have sex for love. I don't agree with that. This is something that I keep hearing. I keep hearing this saying, men love to have sex. Women have sex for love. Women have sex for sex too. Women do just want to get laid. Okay, so don't, don't, don't get that twisted. Women aren't always having sex just for love. But, are, but women are emotionally attached to sex, meaning they need an emotional spike in order to have sex. It's not just for love, so I don't agree with that. But I, and I keep hearing this phrase all the time, and it's not true. Women do have, have sex just for sex sake, but they do need an emotional connection. So she says, women are capable of emotionless sex if it's a one-night stand. He doesn't stay. Um, women are capable of an emotionless sex if it's a one-night stand. Yes, that's true. Um, sort of. I agree with that to a good extent. Um but I still think she needs an emotional spike in order to, 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 to get her in bed. And what, whatever that, wherever that emotional spike stems from, whether it's um, through his you know, prowess, the way he talks, etc., wherever it stems from, it's still an emotional spike. So I don't think that women, I don't know if I agree that women necessarily have sex you know, in an emotionless way. But they can have sex without having, you know, without investing and and, and having love in a, you know, in a monogamous type of way or whatever. They can definitely do that. He doesn't stay, and if he does, he definitely doesn't stick his dick in 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 the morning because on a one night stand, sex in the morning flicks something in our brain. I would agree with that. I think that's that's pretty true. Um, yeah, I mean probably some truth to that i can't speak for every woman let's face it there will be a few that demand that this is wrong and more power to them but on the average we attach through sex i think that's true i think that women get attached to a man through sex and this is why women are so this is part of why women are so picky when it comes to having sex with men in general because they don't want to get attached or they you know it's a it's it's not, but it kind of is a bigger commitment for women than than it is for men. Um, and the reason why is because women, I think, are more emotional. So it's more, she's more likely to get attached to you once she has sex with you. But again, that doesn't mean that she loves you, etc. It just means that she feels feels emotionally attached to you. This is why women oftentimes can so easily move on from a long-term relationship and, and you know, a few weeks later they're already 
you know, loving another guy or moving in with another guy a couple months later or something like that. This is why women can do that because, um, you know, they're, they can easily attach and detach their emotions which is really kind of fucked up whereas with men it often takes us years to get over a long-term relationship because when we get attached in our emotions our emotions don't you know we aren't really hot and cold it's not like that with us women are easily turned on and easily turned off like at, at, at a at a you know hairpin trigger or a hairpin feather whatever like a a drop of a hat, they'll get turned off about something. You say something wrong, you do, you stand a certain way, they're turned off. It's just weird. You know, it's like hypersensitive. Men, we're different. When we love someone, when we get into our emotions, that's a, that's a solid thing, usually. And it usually has, to, has a lot to do with rational reasons. You know, it usually has a lot to do with actual, tangible reasons. For, for, for women, it's just an emotion. Well, I just feel this. I just feel. I can't help the way I feel, feel, feel. They're always feeling, right? So this is the main difference between men and women, okay? Which is why anytime some girl or woman says, oh, men and women are the same, bullshit. They're not. Women are emotional. Men are rational. Um... So I say, I agree with this about 90%. I don't think women have sex strictly for love, but I do think they are emotionally attached to sex. Meaning, I don't think that every time a woman has sex, it's because she's in love or because she's doing it to get love. Right? That's, that's, a, that's not true. Um, so I say, women also use sex to get things from men. Sex is often a tool to fulfill their hypergamy, and in many cases, they use it as a weapon. So that's on the flip side of the coin. So on the one hand, like... Yes, if you're gonna, if you want to get laid or you want to get a woman into bed, you need to spike an emotional attraction. She needs to be emotionally turned on. But on the flip side, when we're talking about female dating strategy, when we're talking about female relationship strategy, women will often use sex as a tool, a bartering tool, right, to get the, 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 the to get the man they want. And this is wrong. Women should not do that, but they do do it, and it's unfortunate. Um, people, some people, I've talked with people who've argued that it's biology, that women need to use sex in order to, um, you know, procure a high quality male for mating purposes and all this bullshit about evolution and woo woo woo. Like, look, man, that's all cool until we're talking about the divorce rates. Like that's all cool until we're talking about like real love. Like that shit doesn't fly in the, in real relationships that are really based on love and really uh, last long and don't get divorces because you know if you marry for anything other than love you're really setting yourself up for a divorce which is why you know one in two marriages end right it's a big reason big reason it causes infidelity it causes you know I mean why would you do that it's dumb but yet women do it and I, and maybe you could argue that it, it was it stems from a survival mechanism maybe I might go so far you know, as to, as to, as to entertain that, but, um, yeah. And then also they use it as a weapon, you know, sex is used as a weapon. A lot of times, you know, they use sex to get back at men. They use sex, you know, they, they, they withhold sex from us. They, you know, um, hold sex over our heads in general in society. You know, the, the, the hypocrisy and the double standard of on the one hand, you know, you know, claiming all men want is sex and all, you know, men are just, you know, sex hounds and, and they don't really care about us or love us as women. And then on the other hand, you know, using sex as a, as a bartering tool, using sex as a weapon against us. I mean, that's just straight up hypocrisy. Like, like that's just, honestly, it's also a self-fulfilled prophecy because, you know, you're, you're saying, oh, men are just, all men want is sex, but then you're basically not giving us anything else but sex you're not bringing anything else to the table but sex and in addition to that you're using sex to get resources you're using sex to get um you know find a high quality male and get your shit paid for and sugar daddy websites and porn and cam girls and only fans etc cetera, etc cetera. like you're just you're a hypocrite like that's bullshit like you, <laughs> that's a huge double standard Right. And then they want to like accuse us and say, oh, well, you watch porn. Uh, it's like, yeah, probably because we can't get laid, probably because you're you've created a scarcity in the market. 
to where men can't easily get laid and 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 you put us down for wanting sex when in reality you want sex too in reality everyone wants sex sex is a physical necessity we need to come it's just how we are right but yet you you know want to use you want to use sex to make money and you want to use sex to get things from men and then yet you'll turn around and, and act like all we want is sex probably because we don't have enough of it because you hoard it <laughs> And they say, well, it's your fault for not being able to find a woman. Well, we can't find a quality woman because you're all out there sleeping around. We can't find a quality woman because none of you are loyal to us because of hypergamy. So, anyway, just a bunch of bullshit. But anyway, I just wanted to make this real quick to show you guys, you know, how women use sex, how they feel about sex. And, you know, every once in a while I'll come across a woman who, you know, tells the truth and who speaks the truth. Um... You know, this this woman here, don't want to show her name, but, um, yeah, man, uh, every once in a while, you know, some women are kind of woke, some women have it, have it kind of figured out, you know, some women even stand up for men, you know, that woman who did the Red Pill documentary, uh, Karen Strong, I think is her name, Karen Strong, or I mean, she's not the one who did the, she's not the one who did the Red Pill documentary, um, I forget her name, but Karen Strong is another one who really stands up for men. She's anti-feminist, and there's a lot of women out there who are anti-feminist who really do understand. They understand men. They understand the whole dynamic. They understand that feminism is terrible for society. They just get it. Some women are just – they just get it. It's rare, but some do. It's like point zero 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 five percent of women. But every once in a while, you'll run across, you'll run across a woke woman who just gets it. Most of them are trying to, you know, attack you for speaking red pill truths. Most of them are trying to, you know, so I shouldn't show this girl's name. Um, most of them are trying to put put men down and further that whole, you know, female empowerment agenda, which is really just female superiority when you break it down. there's It's not female empowerment. That That's code word for female superiority. Right. And people with eyes to see, people who aren't total brainwashed white knight drones, we get it. We see through the bullshit. We see that you just want the perks. You want the power. You want the benefits. And you don't want any of the responsibility. Right. So anyway, I just wanted to end it there. Appreciate you listening. It's been Jay Lee, Northwest Podcast. Peace.